Hello, call sign Latrobe here, and a question that I get a lot is, how do you do a tail slide? Or at least that's what I call it anyways. I'm not sure what the correct name for it may be. Anyways, I'm going to show you exactly how I pull this move. So here I am in my 109 F4. The tail slide is actually a rather complex maneuver to pull, and I'm not the best at explaining things, but I'm going to give it my best shot. The tail slide can actually be used in many different situations, and you can use slightly different control inputs in each situation to get your plane to react in a different way, and there's just so many different scenarios that I just can't cover all of them in one video. So. I'm going to explain to you the one that I pull most off in the main arena, which is when you're coming from left to right across someone's flight path in an upward position. The control inputs you're going to be using for the tail slot are you want a rudder opposite of your engine torque. So for my 109 here, the engine torque is to the left. So what I want to do is rudder right. I'm also going to use left aileron, so as I'm ruddering right, the plane slides one way, and as I use left aileron, it rolls the other. You also want to pull back on the stick as well, so as you're sliding one way and rolling the other, the elevators pitch your nose upwards. Essentially what your plane is doing is sliding one way, rolling the other, pitching upwards over the top and onto its back. The tail slide's best performed at low speeds or near a stall. If you pull the tail slide at high speeds, you're going to lose control of your aircraft and go into an unrecoverable stall. I'll show you tail slide here real quick and then I'll get into a little more explaining. So let's say someone's on my tail here, so I break left to right across this flight path. Drop a couple flaps here to get slow. Go on left to right across this flight path, and I'll get nose up. Get slow. Use left aileron, right rudder, pull back on the stick, go into a tail slide. And if all went well, you'd be out in front of me here. Now, a lot happened in that short period of time, I'm going to do the best I can to explain it. I'll break it into two parts, the initial tail slide and recovery. The initial tail slide is just as I explained before, using right rudder, left aileron, pulling back on the stick, and getting your aircraft to do that tail slide. I like to consider a tail slide a controlled stall, since that's essentially what you're doing with your aircraft. When you pull a tail slide, your airspeed becomes nothing. You're putting your aircraft into a stall that you can quickly recover from almost instantly. The way you recover from a tail slide is pretty much how you recover from any other stall, really. As you're ruddering right, using left arrow and pulling back, and your aircraft rolls up onto its back, at a point, you're going to feel your aircraft start to stall. At that point, what you want to do is push your stick forward and get your nose down so you can start picking up flying speed again. And depending on how your aircraft reacts to your maneuver, you want, either want to use right aileron or left rudder, or a combination of both. It all depends on how your aircraft reacts at the time. So if I show another tail slide here, I'm going left to right across someone's flight path. I want to get slow. Lead some E off here. Use a couple flaps to get a little slower. Going left to right across someone's flight path, nearing my stall, getting nose up, Right rudder, pull back, left aileron, go into a tail slide. I'm 
near my stall, I want to push forward, get my nose down, pick up flying speed again, and recover. Once more, breaking left to right, cross someone's flight path. Want to get slow. Get nose up. Nearing my stall. Pull back, left trailer on, right rudder. Go into a tail slide, near my stall. Push down on my nose. And recover. And that's really all there is to a tail slide. Just pulling back, left aileron, ruddering right, getting yourself into a tail slide. When you feel your aircraft start to stall, push the nose forward, get it down below the horizon, recover your aircraft, pick up flying speed, and chase after the guy that overshoots. Now that we know how to pull a tail slide, we need to know when to use it. This is not a move that you want to be using all the time. This is very much a last ditch effort move used when you have royally screwed up and are in a very bad situation and nothing else has worked. Positioning and timing mean everything. The same is true for most other maneuvers, but at least with those moves you have a plan B, another move that you can use if the first doesn't work. With a tail slide, since you're throwing yourself into a controlled stall and dumping all of your speed, there is no plan B. It's either going to work, or you're going to die. With the help of my trusty assistant, Zakharov, I'll show you some of the wrong ways to use a tail slide. Let's start with positioning. What you're working towards is forcing a flight path overshoot, either by tightening your turn or going into a scissors fight or some other means. Here we can see I don't create an overshoot, and all I do is give Zack a huge target to shoot at. We can see Zack is well inside my turn here, and I don't create the flight path overshoot I need, so all tail sliding does for me here is make me a sitting duck in front of his guns. I always do that. Now let's look at timing. Timing is very important. You want to get your opponent as close as you can without getting shot. Here we see me pull a tail slide very early. All this does is waste my E and let Zack close the gap for an easy shot on me. Your opponent will have plenty of time to choose whether he wants to just shoot you or throttle back and sit on your six. Now let's sit back and watch how a tail slide is done the right way. We'll take a look at the flight paths here, which I've numbered so you can have an idea of the separation between our planes through the turn. We see at point 0.9 that on our current course, Zack will get a shot on us, and I've noticed he is closing fairly quickly. This is where I tighten my turn to create the flight path overshoot I need. We can see that tightening our turn will create the flight path overshoot I need, and Zack sees this too and he tries to turn with me, but he's going too fast to cut the corner. We can see that at point 0.4 we still have the flight path overshoot, and Zack is very close. This is where the tail slide is most effective. Was the tail slide the best move I could have used in that situation? Absolutely not. A little throttle control through the turn to increase the rate of closure would have created a more dramatic overshoot and saved a lot of my speed. Then all I would have needed to do is simply reverse my turn on the Zack 6. Hopefully you understand how the tail slide works now. Before you go out practicing it, you should first focus on BFM and ACM if you haven't mastered them yet. A good pilot would never get themselves into a situation where they had to resort to a tail slide. I'll see you all in game.